Hi all, let's talk about matrix report in SSRS. It is a one of the uh, report type in the SSRS. It's a kind of one of the data region in SSRS. So matrix report is a kind of cross tab report. So the matrix data region contains both dynamic columns and rows. So they expand to accommodate the data. I mean, so columns can be dynamic and the rows obviously dynamic. So when you compare with the tabular report, in the tabular report, columns are static, rows are dynamic. But here, columns and rows are dynamic to expand the data, to accommodate the data. And so the columns are rows can contain other columns or rows here. And it can also be grouped column wise as well as the row wise. Let me show you how to create a matrix report in SSRS. So let's go to the SQL Server data tools. I just added a new matrix report. Let me create a data source here. So we already talked about how to create in detail in the first report. So let me create a one data source here and my table is a database name is sample. Let's click on OK and let's create a data set. So in detail we talked about in the previous video. So let me my query is select star from Okay, let's click on okay if the query and syntax is correct then it automatically shows you the fields if something is wrong it does not come okay now let me take a matrix here let's take the matrix yeah as discussed matrix is a cross tab so what do you want to put in the rows i want to put country name in the rows columns is year okay so now your data is amount see here it is a cross tab so now as discussed, the column names are dynamic and the rows are dynamic. So this is how we need to design the matrix report. Now let's me go to the preview. See in the preview, the columns are not fixed. If you see here, the columns are going to expand. Here I have a data till 2014 only. Tomorrow if I get 2015, 16, 17 data, it automatically grows to the right. Even in the, uh, col even in the rows also, currently I have China, India, UAE, UK and USA. Tomorrow, if I get one more country, it automatically come down. So that is the reason why we are telling it as a matrix report is a contains a dynamic columns and dynamic rows and grouping also can be done at the rows level as well as column level. How to see the grouping as well? Right click on the amount column. So in the add group, sorry, in the, in the column, in the, in the, in the add total, either row wise or column wise. If you want a row wise total, let's click on row. If you want a column wise total, let's click on column. So this is how we can do the grouping. Let me go to the preview of it. Yeah, here if you see, so this is the column wise total is 19,150 and this row wise total is 14,600. So this is how we'll apply the grouping in the matrix report. This is how we design the report in SSRS for matrix.